finally, after we had met, I don't know how many actors, uh, they reluctantly agreed, let's, let's get him in. I wore a big, bulky blue sweater because I thought, oh my God, I've got to look stronger, you know, and I knew I was skinny. I'd been sitting around, hadn't been exercising. I mean, I get out and play tennis and stuff, but I don't in any way do body stuff. So I got the biggest Shetland sweater I could find up in my attic and went to this audition with it and sat there sort of, you know, sort of trying to be, trying to look bigger, you know, and everything like that. And it was Ilya Salkine and Vic Donner, who were the directors. And all they did, they put a pair of glasses on me and they sort of looked at me. Mm -hmm. And we talked about New York and blah, 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 and nothing in particular, and I left. I looked at him, kind of reddish blonde hair and skinny as can be, but he had this great big sweater on. And he really convinced me of his honesty, of his love of the character and how he wanted to play it. And I said, but I got it. You're a skinny little kid. And I got, he said, listen, before I went into acting, I was a real jock. He said, I, I've lost 50 pounds. He said, I can put it on. I said, hey, if I take a chance on you, you better be telling me the truth or I'm, I'm down the two. He said, I swear to you. I said, well, I'll have to do a test. He said, well, I'm in a play right now down the village. He said, I play my own grandfather in it. And so I, I, we went to the theater that night and he, he, there were maybe 20 people in the cast and he just jumped off the stage. He came right through the proscenium. He was, he stood out. The next thing I knew, I was invited to London for a screen test. We had made a costume out of a blue leotard and cut out an S and a red cape. The wardrobe lady had just thrown it together and Chris was sweating like a stuck pig. The blue, there was black circles under the water was running down his arm. I took black shoe polish that actors used to use to touch out the gray and we blacked his whole head. And uh, this skinny little kid did a scene with various ladies who were up for the part of Lois Lane and hands down, he was by far, he was Superman from day one. He hopped off the balcony and said, Good evening, Miss Lane. And Jeffrey Unsworth looked over at me and went, because the tone was just right. The thing, he went through the test and we knew we had him. I was very skeptical about the whole thing. I thought, you know, um, you know, how's this going to be real and believable? But when I read the script and saw the scale and size and the quality of the casting, quality of the script, you know, a 70 millimeter version of it, I thought, wow. You know, this is really an opportunity. I remember we sent the test back to Warner Brothers and we prayed. We said, we love, love this kid. And they saw it and they said, great, go with him. If you feel that strongly, he looks, he looks terrific. I guess sometimes when you don't really think you're gonna get the part, or if you're not even really sure that you want it, that's sometimes when you get it. It's when you pin all your hopes on getting something and that. You know, that, that, that often you choke. He got the part, but the problem remained, he was too slim. A padded uniform was prepared for him, but Christopher Reeve was determined to build up his own physique for real. I get a call from Dick Donner, and he said, can you get down to the studios as quick as you can? And we've got Superman, you see, so I chased down to the studios, and he said, we've got this guy called Christopher Reeve. And I said, what's he like? He said, well, he's, uh, he's six foot five, and he weighs um, currently about 170 pounds. And he said, hey, he's actually perfectly right, facially. He said, we'd very much like you to, um, to build him up for us. So he said, we'd like you to uh, look after him for, for the next six weeks and, uh, and put as much weight on him as you possibly can in the right places, of course. And that's kind of, um, I'm introduced to Chris. And he, was, he was fantastic, he was lovely. I mean, he was a, a really lovely person. You know, we, we, we were like brothers. I mean, was, we, got, we got on so well together. And during the course of the, the period that I had him, um, I took him from 170 pounds when, when we started, and, he, and I, he was 212, actually, when he went into a suit. The point is that when I started, I was a string bean, and Superman's not a string bean, so. Already, on this diet, I eat four times a day. Uh, I, tell you, I tell you, I'm on a high a meat diet, a protein diet, uh, vitamin pills, nothing like steroids or anything like that, but, um, I mean, I get to eat as much of as anything that I want, and it's, it's great, you know. The thing is that on this part particularly, you have to start from the outside and work in. You can, you can do all the interior work you want to do, and it's still it's not going to get you to Superman if you don't have the physical strength to go with it. The thing that happens is that the stronger I get, you know, and I'm still not all that strong, but I'm, I'm getting that. The stronger I get, the more it helps my mental attitude towards the part. What sets Superman apart is that he has the wisdom to use his power for good. He has all these powers, but he's got, he's got the kind of maturity or he's got the innocence, really, to look at the world 
very, very simply, and that's what makes him so different. When he says, I'm here to fight for truth, justice, and the American way, you, everybody goes, <coughs> you know, but he's not kidding.